This is for, uh, one for the ladies out there who are single and maybe looking for a wealthy man. This is a real tweet from a real Japanese billionaire. His name is Yusaku Mezawa. He says, wanted, why not be the first woman to travel to the moon? He's looking for a woman to go with him on the first SpaceX trip to the moon, which I think makes him the world's richest loser, right? I mean, <laughs> I bet an ex-girlfriend told him she wants some space and he took it literally. <laughs> I wonder if he'd accept a couple as his companions, because this might be an easy way out for Harry and Meghan, or uh, Jared and Ivanka, maybe. I think it's safe to say that asking a woman to go to the moon with you is a first. And if all this sounds like the premise of a ridiculous reality dating show, that's because if I have my way, it will be soon. From the creators of The Bachelor and The Bachelorette comes a new show that's out of this world. This season, finding love is rocket science. I don't know if anyone's ever kissed while floating in space. One eccentric billionaire. I am from Japan. 12 women who are over the moon for him. All these lines tell you need a risky for the biscuit, and he looks like a really hot <laughs> biscuit. Can one lucky lady bring him back down to earth? We got a hot tub. Oh, I didn't see the hot tub. Yes. This season, we're boldly going there. Emily is not a big drinker. She rarely drinks, and when she does, she gets drunk off of, like, half a beer. On The Space Bachelor, Houston, we have a hookup. I like it. I, I would watch it. I say we shoot them all into space. Back on Earth, this is uh, week two of Bachelor Peter's Amazing Journey, and the good news is everyone seems to be there for the right reasons. The bad news is the ladies are fighting. There was a showdown tonight between Kelsey and Hannah Ann. Basically, Kelsey brought a bottle of champagne she bought in Des Moines. She'd been saving it for a special moment. She assumed that moment would be with Peter, so she had it all iced up and ready to go. And then Hannah Ann presumably by mistake, or more likely, she was duped by the producers into opening the champagne with Peter, which made Kelsey, who really loved this bottle of champagne, very upset. You know what? Hey, I, I have to say something. It's not okay what you did. I set this up. I brought this bottle from Des Moines. Don't, don't try to play I, dumb. I didn't know. You I, knew? I didn't. Tammy just went over here and told me. Bring Tammy Literally. here. Because this was my thing. I said, I had no idea. I would have never I've done that. Had this I had no idea. Oh my God. Okay. I'm, Kelsey, I'm, I'm, I'm over it. Kelsey. I'm over it. Kelsey, I'm, Kelsey, I'm, Kelsey, I'm, Kelsey, I'm, I literally had no idea. Oh, it sounds like such a good idea when you get signed up to be the bachelor and then you meet a real champagne in the ass like Kelsey. And <laughs> so then Peter tried to make things right. They got another bottle and opened it and it went like this. <laughs> There we go. Okay. That had some speed on it. All right, show me what she All right, I get. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's. Boy, yeah, I tell you what, you hate this. They're all made up, you're all dressed up. Well, let's look at that again, if we could. Let's see. The, uh, yeah, it's, uh, in and back on. So Kelsey, uh, as you might guess, did not get sent home. Peter whittled it down to 19 women tonight. One of the most important skills a bachelor has to have is the ability to end a relationship. And so we decided, because we like to help, to send Peter to the Grove, which is a lovely mall a few miles away from here. We put him on an escalator, and we exposed him to a stream of strangers and encouraged him to break up with them. And, well, uh, nothing makes perfect like practice. Hey, I think deep down, we both know that this is never going to work. So when we get down there, I think I'm just going to walk out of this escalator and, and out of your life forever, right? Why are you following me? I just feel like we've shared so much in these last three seconds. What? You know? Okay. Uh, it's, just, it's been like an amazing journey for me, so. Okay. I want you to know that, but... <laughs> I think I have to let you go now, so. Okay. I never felt so close to someone before. Yeah, I don't want to be you. Didn't our love mean anything to you? Are you here for the right reasons? I think I want to start writing with other people. Just so you know, it's, it's not you. 
It's me. But also you a little bit. You had a dancer? All right. We can ride together. Are you here for the right reasons? No, I speak English. No English. Communication, it's, it's always been that home with us. This, this, uh, sir, this is, uh, this is, this has been amazing. Like, our, our love has been amazing. Uh, just our relationship in general has been amazing to me. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's the look that you just gave me. <laughs> I'll see you guys later, OK? Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Give back this holiday season. Buy my new book, The Serious Goose. I wrote it and drew it. All the money I make goes to children's hospitals across the country. And if you don't support that, you are a monster.